Senator Jaffer. My question is to the Leader of the Senate. Leader, the people of Venezuela need our help more than ever. Their economy is in shambles with their annual inflation rate now at 83,000%. To put this in perspective, this means that Venezuelans are no longer able to afford even the most basic needs. Shelves in supermarkets are bare. Water is scarce, and families never know whether or not they will have power for the day. Venezuelans have four, are forced to flee the country because their hospitals no longer have medicine, and the pregnant women must cross the border to get life-saving vaccines for their future babies. Leader, there is a humanitarian crisis, and I am proud to see that Canada is stepping up to help with the $5.3 million that Minister Freeland promised for humanitarian efforts in May. However, little has been announced since that promise was made. Leader, can you provide us with an update on the funding of the humanitarian relief efforts? Senator Harder. Again, I thank your Honor, Senator, for the question, and this is indeed an evolving situation in, in which I'm sure there will be future announcements as well. But let me uh, first of all state the strong action the Government of Canada has taken with respect to uh, sanctions against uh, members of the Maduro uh, government. Uh, a set of colleagues will know that new sanctions on, on 14 key figures of that regime uh, have, uh, have been taken by the government, and we've downgraded our diplomatic status as a reflection of, uh, of the concerns we have with the direction of the government. Um, we're clearly, as a government, uh, con uh, concerned about the worsening political and economic situation. Uh, the government is working very closely with the UN agency, um, uh, the refugee agency, UNAP, uh, as well as uh, the Canadian private sponsors, uh, to identify the most vulnerable persons uh, in the world for resettlement. Some of those, as the senator has suggested, have now already left Venezuela. Ecuador is taking a large number of those, I should point out. And the, the government resettles those who are uh, pre referred to them by the UNHCR or those who are, are sponsored through private sponsorships. And I would be happy at a future date to report precise numbers. That too is an evolving uh, uh, point of, of work. Um, since uh, 2017, uh, Canada has provided over 2.2 million in, in humanitarian assistance uh, directly to help the uh, most concerned and vulnerable populations. Uh, this includes support for the UN World Food Program and the Action Against Hunger and to Colombian Red Cross to provide basic services protection, gender and inclusion activities to affect populations in Colombia, where the, also there is a large host uh, group. Senator Jaffer. Leader, thank you very much for your extensive answer. I appreciate it. Leader, if anybody knows this, you do, and that is on the TV, I've never seen, and I've been involved and been a refugee myself and been involved in refugee crisis, so many women and babies crossing the border. That just breaks your heart. Leader, you were involved in the Women at Risk program. Is our government going to take the step of bringing those women and babies to our country and under the Women at Risk program? Senator Harder. Again, I will, um, I will uh, inquire specifically uh, but I want to assure the Senator that the programs such as Women at Risk are exactly the programs uh, that are targeted in situations like this uh, because of the vulnerable community and, and, and groups that are identified. And we work as a government very closely with the UNHCR to, uh, to ensure we are providing support to those that are most vulnerable of this group.